Now in this video, we'll see some basic introduction to the classification and the marking. Classification and the marking is a basic feature of the quality of service. Now if there is classification is a method of differentiating the traffic in different classes. Like let's say you have some voice traffic coming in your network, voice and video traffic, which has to be a high priority traffic. And then there are some other low priority traffic like FTP and HTTP as well. And maybe you have some financial transactions or some some database servers which need some medium kind of priority now we need to ensure that we classify this traffic in different categories and that is what we call as classification and this can be done with some class maps where we are going to use some class maps where different where we differentiate each and every traffic uh, by using some different parameters like we can either match the traffic based on the input interface like you have two interfaces we have f0 by 0 and f0 by 1 and you want to match all the traffic from in from f0 by 0 that is something we can do or we can match based on some marking values we'll talk about markings in our next section more in detail or we can also match based on the source and destination addresses where we can write some extended ACLs or we can also match based on application as well like we have an option of match a protocol HTTP or match protocol FTP like that. So classification is a method where we are going to differentiate the traffic based on uh, based on our priority levels. Now, if there is no classification, then all the traffic will be treated equally, which means uh, it's going to forward based on normal forwarding, where all the traffic will be treated equally if there is no classification. So to, to classify the traffic, we, we can use something called class maps. If you remember in the previous section, we have seen with a basic example where we have created an ICMP traffic, which is categorized in one, one class map. And then we got some HTTP traffic in a separate category. We can create a class map where we can match. We can also create an ACL actually to, to match any specific traffic based on the source and destination. And we can call this particular uh, class map uh, ACL inside this class map here. Now the next thing is marking. Marking is a method like once we define uh, different classes like we have match HTTP traffic also we have matched some ICMP traffic. Now we need to do some marking to that. So marking is something like coloring to the packets where we are uh, doing some marking as it goes over the network so that it can be identified on the remote devices. Like what we can do is we can match a specific traffic and we can apply some marking value. So let's say the marking is red here, something. And as it moves on the network, on the remote routers, we can match. Now based on that particular ma matching uh, marking values, either we can match that particular marking value or, or we can, or each and every device is going to treat the priority of that particular traffic based on the marking. Now we have some different markings like layer two marking and layer three marking values. So based on the marking value, it's going to every device is going to treat differently based on the markings. Now we got something called layer two marking and layer three markings. Now in the layer two marking, uh, majorly used in your layer two networks, maybe if you're using a layer two ethernet network, now inside your ethernet network, we use either a ISL or dot one encapsulation. Now inside the frame, you have some three bits reserved for, for these marking values. Like in case of ISL header, which is going to add some 26 bytes of header, we have some three bits of cost value, class of service value, which is used to define the marking value. Now the same thing if you are using dot one q frame, probably again you have a separate field called tag, and in that it's going to be three bits again, which is defined as a cost value. Now if you are using any layer three packets, like in case of layer three packets, we have some a separate field called type of service. And inside that type of service, uh, there are two different types of marking values we can use, IP precedence or DLCP. Now DLCP is somewhat advanced marking values which can which provide some more options when compared with IP precedence. So more on this uh, layer 2 and layer 3 markings like how they are differentiated will be discussing much more in detail in our next section.